Hey everybody, welcome to CR Anti Designers. This is Chetan, and now let's get started. To make the model, we need to add a cylinder, and we will go with the 32 words, and then scale the cylinder along the z-axis. Go to the top view, go to the edit mode, and then select the stop faces, and you need to use the insert operation at there. So press I for the insert operation. After that, you need to use the loop tool and then loft option to create the boolean at there, means hole. And then you need to add one more cylinder and this time we will go with the 8 words. So add the 8 word cylinder and then give the right position and right scale to this cylinder. So select these inner faces and press Alt S to adjust their scale. And then you need to select that 8 word cylinder. And then set the transform orientation to the 3D cursor and then rotate it into the 90 degree and one more time rotate it into the 45 degree. And now you need to select all three cylinders and then join them together and then select that first cylinder and here you need to use the boolean operation which is difference. So use the boolean operation. After that you need to apply that boolean modifier. So just apply that modifier and then delete this cutter object. And now you need to create the right topology on the model. So select everything, press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Now just select these words and then right click and then connect vertex path and create a path in between the words. Same thing you need to do from the bottom side or you can take the symmetry also. After that just select these words and we need to use the edge slide here. So turn on the extra mode, select the words and use the edge slide at there. Then use the knife tool and create a loop structure. So you need to create the cuts like this around your boolean to create a decent loop structure to maintain the form. After that you need to create the path in between the words like this. Select these words and press M and merge at last. And just create a decent loop structure at there. After that select these words and then delete them. And select these words and then delete them. So you will get this part. And now you can use the symmetry along the z-axis. You can take the symmetry along the x and y-axis also or you can add the mirror modifier. Whichever you like to prefer. So here I'm adding the mirror modifier and turn on that clipping and merge options. And then take the symmetry along the x and y-axis and then apply that mirror modifier. And just select these inner faces, press Alt S to scale them along their normal. And now you need to add the lattice. So shift A add the lattice and adjust the scale of the lattice as per the scale of that object. That cylinder. And then go to the lattice property and increase the resolution along the W. Select that object and then add a lattice modifier on that object. And now you need to select that lattice in that object. In that lattice modifier. Select this top words of the lattice and you need to rotate it into the 45 degree. So just rotate them into the 45 degree like this. After that, you need to select the bottom words. And then you need to rotate these words into the opposite 45 degree. So you will get a twist on your model. Like this. And now it's look pretty well. So if you get the satisfactory results with the lattice modifier then you can apply that lattice modifier. So shift to duplicate it and make a backup and then apply that lattice modifier. And you can hide that lattice. And now we want to work on it. So it's look pretty well. And then add a sub D modifier on it and increase the sub D count up to 2 for the viewport level. And now it's look pretty well but we need to add more geo on the model. So how we can do that? We can add more loop cuts on the model to maintain the form and to achieve the decent look. So just add the loop cuts or you can select the center loop cuts and then you can press ctrl B and then add a bevel like this and add a two segment bevel to add more geo on the model. Just give the right width for the bevel and now it's look pretty well. Now just add a few more loop cuts from the top and from the bottom. And now add loop cuts here and add loop cuts at the bottom like this and just add one loop cut here from the top and then use the loop tool to make it proper circle and you can take the symmetry along the z-axis or you can manually add the loop cuts at the bottom 
so just add the loop cut here use the loop tool and then circle and now you can see it's look pretty well so share smooth it and in this way you can create this kind of model it's look decent for me so i just want to add more details on it so how i can do this it's very simple just shift d to duplicate it and make a backup and then add full loop cuts select these faces and then you need to use the insert operation then use the loop tool and then circle option and then just create a decent boolean set there so just extrude inside use the insert operation and add few loop cuts at there so you can use the insert operation for that and add loop cuts which will maintain the form of those booleans now it's look pretty well so in this way you can create this kind of model so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care